Oh, good morning to you all. Good morning. Last day of March. 31st of March 2020. Um, sometimes I sort of have to pinch myself and remind myself that as a young man I couldn't believe that I would still be alive in the year 2000. Here we are, 2020, still alive. Um, morning perambulation. The wind is, it's, it's got a bit of a chill to it. Uh, yeah, it, it's been a bit blowy overnight. So it's always good to just have a little wander about and see what's happening. Uh, this field behind uh, our garden belongs to the mayor. Uh, the mayor, she has some absolutely wonderful views on all sorts of things. Uh, one of which is she loves trees and she very much regrets the way that in this part of France big farms have cut down all their trees and have gone to the, the sort of monoculture that most of the world does. So many years ago trees were planted her side of the fence line and yeah she comes and looks at them and we talk about them because they they have an effect on my garden uh, on balance I'm happy with the effect on balance uh, and you know she tolerates some of the things I do and I tolerate some of the things she wants to do uh, they protect my garden to a degree they also rob a lot of the water out of my garden but as I say it's it, it's on balance I like them it gives me lots to look at the birds the squirrels things like that but after a windy night I think it's good to come and see how much has fallen out of them. Uh, <laughs> we've, we've sort of got this idea that what falls in my garden is mine and what falls her side of the fence isn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, So far this year I've, I've had enough branches out of these trees to keep me warm for about three days next winter. But what we do find, after a drop of wind, all over the place, pine cones. And you see, life sometimes is about how you look at things. Do you look at pine cones as a nuisance? You know, when you hit them with the lawn mower, they, they sort of fly out a bit and rattle around. Or do you look at them as a bonus? These pine cones make wonderful fire lighters. You know, when you start your fire of an evening, if you can chuck some pine cones in, they're actually very, very useful. So I'm happy with that. Now, what did I want to do? I wanted to go and look at the apple trees. Uh, this garden is awfully exposed. A lot of the people that grow apples do so in a, in a sort of walled garden where the trees don't get battered about by the wind so much. This year, uh, this year I'm hoping to get some fruit off this particular tree. Last year the fruit had just set and started to uh, um, become apples and we had quite a sharp frost three nights in a row and I got nothing from this tree. Not a big issue, you know, I'm not a farmer, I don't depend on the income from the trees, but it was rather irritating to lose the entire crop due to frost. What my neighbour did, the, 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 the chap that looks after this piece of ground who lives over there what he did all of his fruit trees he uh, got out and uh, covered them all with um, old net curtain 
might have to see if that works for me this year. This tree is a quince and last year it was absolutely covered in bloom. It was beautiful and it looks like this year it's going to suddenly turn beautiful when the blooms open. But again, just as the fruit had started to set, that frost just polished it off. Fortunately, uh, one of my close neighbours across the road has got two big, very old quince trees. And her garden being protected by walls, the fruit was not... Uh, damaged and she had far far too much quince for her to use you know when I say far too much I'm talking about enough quince for half of France so she invited several people to come and help her pick quince from her trees and a lot of people were very pleased to do that uh, a lot of people ended up making quince jelly out of out of her garden uh, yeah but that's the way we that's the way we roll <laughs>